Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. Well, you may think you understand what a pharmacist does, but what about a pharmacist where the patients can range from a tiny parakeet to a 2,000 pound bull? Well, joining us in today's Forever Family from the University of Illinois Veterinary Teaching Hospital, we have Dr. Lauren Forsyth here, as well as her little furry feline friend. Introduce us. This is Duchess. She has a four-year-old Maine Coon cat. Um, so she's here today as she can be one of the more challenging patients to get medication into. Is that so? So let's talk a little bit about your job there. Uh -huh. um, as a pharmacist, how many patients do you help and prescribe medicine for, would you say, a year or so? We have about 25,000 patients that come to the uh, veterinary teaching hospital every year, ranging from dogs and cats to large animals to um, zoo med patients as well as patients in our wildlife medical clinic. And the medication dispensary there provides medication for all of the patients in the hospital. Now you mentioned um, the Duchess here may be a little difficult to to get medicine yeah. for. Why is that? Um, cats are typically pretty finicky. They're not quite as apt to gobble up treats as dogs would be. And so we have to be a little more creative on how we get medications into them. Um, we also want to make sure that we aren't stressing them out more by trying to get the medications in. I can remember when my dog needed to take a pill or something of some sorts, we would try putting it in a hot dog or try putting yep. it in some string cheese or some peanut butter. What seems to be the best trick? Um, something that they can't easily um, separate from the medication tends to work well for dogs. I like cream cheese. Um, hot dogs work for some dogs. It really depends on the animal. Um, cats, it's a little harder. Um, some of our exotic patients are also harder to medicate. So in those cases, we might compound it into a treat or a liquid or a flavor something. Okay, so that was going to be my next question. I know um, also from experience, um, when they can flavor the liquid mm -hmm. um, antibiotics or medicine, that usually goes down a little better. Yeah. You also can flavor medicine for animals? Yeah, we can. Actually, Duchess's favorite is uh, tuna flavored medication. <laughs> Oh my um, goodness. But we have quite a few different flavor options. We have things like tuna for cats. We have beef and chicken for dogs. We have tutti frutti for some of our guinea pig patients. Oh my goodness. Tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here in these photos. So these are photos of compounding. Um, ideally, the drugs that we use would be FDA approved. And FDA approved medications are ones that the Food and Drug Administration has determined are safe and effective. Uh, however, with all of the different species and size variety with in each species, a lot of times those medications just aren't quite what we need. They might not be the right dosage form or the right strength of medication. So then we have to make a new one. And so we compound, which is where we're making pa patient-specific medications. So we might be flavoring something or making a tablet into a liquid um, to make it easier to medicate the patient. Okay, well that's fascinating. Just another um, exciting part of your job mm -hmm. there as a pharmacist. So do dogs and cats pretty much get the same medications? Not necessarily. Um, some medications that are safe for use in dogs um, could be toxic to cats. One common example is Tylenol. Um, we consider that safe in babies. We use it quite a bit in people. We can also use it in dogs, but if a cat were to get a dose, even an infant dose, it could kill them. Oh my goodness, and we don't want that to happen. Right. Also, I, I, I'm just reliving my days of being a dog owner. Um, it seemed like Buddy would always have seasonal allergies. So it'd be like, here, let's pop a Benadryl. Was that a good idea? Probably not. Um, <laughs> yes, definitely seasonal allergies are a thing in dogs. Uh, and so they can be problematic. And there are some over-the-counter medications that we might use in animals. However, over-the-counter medications that you would buy at like Walmart or CVS or any other pharmacy, um, those would all be medications that are labeled for humans. And so those have been shown to be safe to use following the directions in people, but they're not labeled for animals. So you, we don't want to use those unless a veterinarian has directed us to do so. Okay. Okay, good tips, good advice there. I, I unfortunately don't have to worry about that anymore right now, but good to know. Let's talk a little bit about some of the other things that you do as a pharmacist. So in veterinary pharmacy, it's a very small specialty, but we operate very similar to humans. So in human hospital, you would have a pharmacist that would review the medication orders. They would um, talk with the students. They would talk with the patients. Um, and in veterinary medicine, we are largely doing a lot of the same things. We work with the students. Um, we work with both pharmacy students and vet students. Um, we review dosages for medications. We provide suggestions on what might be 
the optimal therapy or what might help address an issue that maybe they're having with getting the medication into the patient or with um, getting the right dose that they need or any adverse effects that might be getting experienced. Uh, and then we teach in the curriculum at the vet school. Very cool. So great resource right <laughs> here on the University of Illinois campus um, for those people who may have a future being a pharmacist, just like Dr. Forsyth. <laughs> well, we are so excited that you and Duchess came and hang out, Come, came to hang out with us today here on CI Living. And if you want to learn a little bit more about all of the work done to get the appropriate meds to our veterinary patients, no matter the size, we'll connect you with the Veterinary Teaching Hospital over at CILiving.tv. Duchess is just wanting, to, wanting down and ready to play.